to keep the water in from your buildings, build extensions to the front and the back and uh, take it as far as you can. This one I stopped maybe two metres at the back. I should really taken it right out to the back here and let the, wa the water go in the garden. But brilliant for sunshade and excellent for just to keep the heat, the heat off the building. I'll show you the front. You build a smaller, a smaller unit on the front, which uh, exactly the same keeps the heat and the sun, keeps the heat, the heat and the sun off the the building. So really, really good. So the rain, with the rain, uh, driving rain comes forward, it stops the uh, stops the rain from going under the front door. Excellent boy, and uh, gives you gives you extra room at the back of your house as well. You think about your when you're building your house, you, you can do a lot if you just take an extra maybe day to sort of think. And like here, this this one's where really I put septic tanks down here, but this one easily you could raise the two sides up and make a kitchen, and you could make a place for tea and coffee or stuff here. But these rooms are rental, so it's basically. It's just there uh, for to rent, so it doesn't have to be too too fancy. But look how look how cool it is. Nice, eh? Very nice. But all the buildings I put I put sunshades on the front. And even that building, this this one's a, an office, but before the rain used to smash into the door and under the door and windy, so I built this extension. But originally like I say it was a uh, just over one metre, now we've extended it by three and a half. Hello. Hello. Mm -hmm. Hello. Another another small extension, this one just for the window, but to keep the the, the wind and rain for the window. Big one. Visible. Visible. Aye. Everywhere right round the building, there's all sunshades and places to walk, so when it's raining, you can walk right round the building and uh, you didn't get wet, which is really good. And also, it blocks the sun out. And water, it's heavy rain, the water doesn't come in. It's another one just built for the, another extension as well, just over, over, over the building. Then along the building, get cement and make a sort of angle and then the water doesn't go inside the building. Because before, when the people done the concrete, the co concrete ran down to the building. It was no good, so I had to change it. But so now it's all right. Another one, same again, just uh, shade four rooms, keeps the, the rain and sun off. Very, very good. And a super large one, this side, super large. So this one, you could actually uh, extend, the, extend the rooms out, take the window out, come forward and just leave a, a path maybe one 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 metre or one and a, one and a half metres and then two, three metres you could come out and build maybe other parts of the bedroom or other living space. But nothing nicer than uh, having sun shades, that's what I think. And for the cost for the money it costs it's well worth it. Eh? Like, like that standing here. Beautiful. Standing out here in the sun. Wow, so much, so so much, so uh, much of difference in the heat. And these are brilliant as well. If you go on Lazada for the Blue Tech 300 watt solar lamps, absolutely fantastic. Uh, every night they light the whole place up. Very, very good. But my extension, I've, I've built that many different canopies and stuff to keep the buildings from uh, the buildings from getting water. Also, also another thing as well, the rain hits the doors and damages all the doors. So, the same as well if you're building extensions or carports or car parks, anything like that. Keep your building at least six metres back from here going to build because uh, the Thai people, they're, they're running into the posts, the steel posts here and you've got to take them out and renew them because they're terrible drivers. 
I can go in a thousand times, never a problem. Try people, every time, broken, broken, broken. Okay, so the, so you're building your house, think, see that's what I originally done. I bought them for 1,300 baht. It's not a waste of money, just use steel and build, uh, build them yourself. This is another great idea, mesh in for underneath your roof in concrete wood and leave a gap. And then inside you put mesh to stop the anything, the bugs or the young or anything going inside it flies and then it gives your house uh, or building nice and cool. Very, very good. And insulation, put insulation on it as well. Okay. So you can you get a good idea what I've been done. This one's overhanging as well, but only by maybe just uh, I think six hundred mil or something. No, it's no it's not terribly big, but still it makes a difference. You can walk around and keep it keep uh, the rain off your head. Okay. But now I've got to put up some gutter in and I've got to I think maybe I'll, I'll paint the roofs, I'll get a nice colour and spray the roofs a nice colour. That's it. My house is exactly the same. Uh, extension at, at the front and another one that comes on the because it's the same again when it rains that the water still gets on the ceramic so I added this one but this house is quite good it's a I, I started off as a three bedroom um, but now it's a four and it was a originally spent 360,000 to build it then another 200 for two more bedrooms and two kitchens and two bathrooms so it's quite quite nice so people did to spend a lot just uh, just try your best to budget and don't spend too much money yeah because it's hard to make money back when you spend it that's what I say I'm all right because I make income every day but other people oh they spend all their money got to go back home okay so we'll wrap this video up now and thanks for watching <laughs>